the Wendy's Lounge. Seth? Thanks, R.D. Welcome to the Wendy's Lounge. I'm here with Brianna Stewart. Now, Brianna, four-time national champion, three-time most outstanding player in the Final Four. Now, we know you're going to be on the Olympic team and you're going to have to be stuck with Gino a little bit longer, but what's your best Gino Oriana story? Well, I think there's, there's a lot of different directions you could go with that. <laughs> um, this year, I think that was something that was really special just because it was, it was a different side of him that we don't usually see. Um, at times, he, he got a little emotional and that kind of stuff and, um, you know, had a lot of confidence in the seniors and a more relaxed approach than in previous years. The end of the game, when you realized you guys were going to win your fourth national championship mm -hmm. and those seniors came off the court, what was going through your mind? I would say the, the biggest thing that was going through my mind was, you know, a sign, a sign of relief, I guess, but also just looking at the other two seniors and realizing that we did this like wow you know we came in with a goal and now we're leaving walking off the court for the last time together and, and did what we wanted to do uh, it was absolutely awesome watching your team play congratulations thank you love day in and day out well congratulations let's go to reese in the stands all right, Jay Will, George Niang getting the center award and now the most prestigious award in all of women's basketball, the Women's Wooden Award. We have our four finalists joining us here. And to introduce this year's winner, one of the greatest players in the history of the women's game, an Olympian, a Naismith Hall of Famer, a four-time All-American at UCLA. Please welcome Ann Myers-Drysdale. Annie. Thank you, Reese. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. Uh, first of all, I'd like to congratulate all the honorees tonight, and uh, certainly a special evening. And how come I don't get a teleprompter? Um, but for me to be here tonight, it's always a privilege. And uh, to see, be a part of the game and uh, to see where the women's game has grown, uh, co collegiately, professionally, uh, certainly is pretty gratifying. You know, 13 years ago, Coach Wooden, who I call Papa, uh, came to me and asked me if I would be a part of presenting his award. And uh, the man that has made such a difference in my life and uh, in so many other people's lives, you know, such a wonderful teacher and coach and just human being, uh, he embodies so much. And these five women that are being honored tonight certainly embody the ideals of what he teaches. And so we're going to see some video. The nominees for the Women's Wooden Award are Rachel Bannon, Minnesota. Rachel Bantam has taken the nation by storm. She's priceless with the pull-up, fearless with the fadeaway. This young lady's special. I mean, she can play. She can do it all. Mariah Jefferson, UConn. Jefferson with a sick move, breaking ankles. Jefferson, what a move there along the baseline. You got to see that Mariah Jefferson <laughs> replay. Oh, Mariah Jefferson, this makes it look so easy. Kelsey Mitchell. Ohio State. Kelsey Mitchell again, always putting pressure on the defense. All you got to do is dial up Kelsey Mitchell. Brianna Stewart, UConn. The best player in women's college basketball. Stewart with the height advantage. Can't stop that. Another one by Stewart. Three blocks. Boy, that's an All-American series. Asia Wilson, South Carolina. Asia Wilson, a little emphatic fist pump. She continues to knock everything out in sight. Wilson's been carrying South Carolina. So on behalf of the Los Angeles Athletic Club, I'm proud to announce this year's Wooden Award for the Women is Brianna Stewart, two years in a row. Congratulations, Brianna. Brianna, perhaps the greatest legacy in all of women's basketball and basketball in general. Two-time Wooden Award winner now, four national championships, lost five games in four years in your career. So dominant, Brianna. What type of challenge is it to maintain that level of excellence? It's a huge challenge, and I think that, you know, you credit a lot of it to, to Coach Ram and the rest of the staff and what they do for us and, you know, how they prepare us every season, every day. Uh, it's the same no matter the outlook. Now, when you arrived at UConn, you said, for Pete, and you lived up to it. Did you have any idea what type of pressure you're putting on yourself? Um, you know, when I came in as a freshman, 
you know, you don't really think about things when you say them. And I don't regret it, but it wasn't easy, that's for sure. Okay, I've got one more question for you. What's the one thing you've lost at video game, board game, pop a shot, pool, bowling, anything right now that still sticks in your craw? Because you don't lose anything anymore. What's the last thing you lost that irritates you? I just lost in bowling earlier today. Yeah. And you're mad about it, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Brianna, congratulations. A wonderful legacy. A great champion, Brianna Stewart from UConn, a two-time winner of the Wooden Award on the women's side. Brianna, congratulations, and we are getting closer to hand.